Okay, Debbie. You got this. Debbie! Debbie, hello! You reading me? Uh, uh, why, 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 what did he hit me with? I, I don't know, but it was... It, it cut us off. I, it was like, took like ten minutes to get the connection back up. I think my entire brain was shut down for that time. Oh, wow. Was I even breathing? Uh, let's not think about that. Wow, this is, um... Wait. This is gonna be a question you don't want me to ask, but it's important. Yeah? Did you poop yourself? Moving on. You know what? I'll, I'll take that in the best possible way. Okay, at least they're not at attacking me. What are these? Are these, like, are these familiars? Oh, they must have better AI than the ones upstairs. Whoa! Oh, wow, that's... Oh. Oh, Jesus. Are they made of wood? Or are they just really just old and leathery? Oh, God. I, I don't know, and I don't want to look at them anymore. I can't even tell what they're made of. It's just like 100% jerky now. So, okay, so, I guess. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, apparently they don't like your reading from the book. That was entirely predictable. Okay. Wait, you have to say the words before you pick it up. Klaatu Verada. Discussion on observation of the Blue Ridge Mine and power within. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> Lighthouse. Oh, man. Look at that old logo. So embarrassing. Acquisition and guidance of the Blue Ridge Mining Company is paramount to understanding the power and potential of the area. The materials gained from mining the land for ore shall cover the cost of the operation. Vote was taken 172. Yay! To 116 nay, with 22 abstaining. After appraisal, Mr. Frank DeVore of New Jersey has been selected as the foreman. Mr. DeVore shall be ushered into the outer circle of the Order in Kingsmouth. He shall be given sufficient tutelage in matters occult to survive exposure to otherworldly powers. In the first case, importance shall be given to maximizing profits from the mining operation. In the second case, we predict occult consequences within two years of breaking ground. Huh. The Charters will reconvene to discuss the handling of these matters, of which Mr. DeVore shall serve as our mine canary. Oh, wow. Look at otherworldly powers there. You know it's important when they when they use the capital letters like that, when they go the, the tumbler caps. Yeah, this is, this is 1879. The tumbler caps had fallen out of fashion by then. Except in, like, extreme cases. Yeah, yeah. So, Blue Ridge Mine seems important. Hmm. Figured really everything on this godforsaken island would have something to do with the Illuminati. Yeah, but they they sent somebody there. We trained him in the occult, expecting those defenses to not be enough. Yeesh. Just sort of prolonging it, I guess. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to take care of these guys before I even bother touching the book. Good idea. Be proactive. The table. Contents of the general history of the academy continued. The tension of the sacred site. The native threats. The third meeting of the benefactors. The debate over curriculums. The symbols of the wards. The establishing of the private and public faces. The tale of two schools. You read the next one. The fourth meeting of the benefactors, 
The craft of spellcraft, the limits of exposure, the first test of the wards, the, the sacrifices sacrifice. for security, the, sec the second test of the wards, the accepted methods for coercing volunteers, the blood oaths of the staff, the mandate of recruiters, the trials of affiliation or how to detect a Templar, the limiting of pupils, the right of the parents, the benefits of corporal versus occult punishment, the first death on the first death on the grounds, the first feeding of the walls. What? Well, we already know that they were feeding the. the, the there's already you know there's people in the walls. We know that. Yeah. I'm somehow none of that is surprising. It's. It's still not good when you just see it all laid out like that. No, it isn't. A determination hath been made. We shall settle here, a small island on the far northern coast of the new world. The area is is appropriately remote, the forest rich, and the sea bountiful and plenty. There is adequate proximity to all resources required to build and adequate distance to the Templar army. Ooh, weird. The natural harbor is suitably sheltered and easily defendable. We shall call it Solomon Island. I am beyond honored. But you just... Never mind. <laughs> I think this is Solomon Island who was uh, the, Solomon Island Sol, Solomon, Solomon Priest, Priest who was <laughs> who was writing this Mr. Fletcher reported an altercation with the local natives a party was sent to explore and survey the mountains on the west side of the island and the savages reacted with hostility furthermore we may assume the Area holds a position of significance and veneration within their heathen beliefs. Well, you know, everyone loves the area. Well, oof. You know the area I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I capitalize like that. I always think of David Bowie. Oh, the area. Oh. Oh, wow. <sighs> it distracts from the racism. Lumber hath been harvested for construction of our first church. The church shall be a cornerstone of our community. Our eye. May 1668. Another, another excursion braved inland and to the mountains. The natives showed similar hostility and surprising ferocity. September 1668. Hostilities with the natives temporarily subdued we I, we hear we have vowed to stay away from their sacred their sacred site and holy mountain for now dun 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 oh come on you know it's never white people it's never gonna last no i mean but that's that's basically how like every interaction between white people and natives is gone just dun. ending with a dun 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 Yep. Screams. Mm. Your turn. Uh, okay, let me try and read this. The key to the island for the illuminated eye. It is clear from the markings circling the island, island that the Norsemen were here before us. The runic inscriptions leave no doubt. Why they left and under what circumstances is unclear. Why there is no record of this elsewhere is also a mystery. They appear to have left on good terms with the savages, and are frequently mentioned in their legends as saviors from the north, wielding the very power of, power of the sun to extinguish darkness. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. No, oh, sorry. A weapon, perhaps. 
The mystery item is strongly tied to all local legends as a key to the island. Our search for it has yielded nothing but further enigma. The research must continue, but it seems likely the Norsemen took it with them when they left. Legends bear close similarities with Templar finds in the Celtic regions in general, and on the coast of Scotland in particular. So, let's see. Did they steal it? Wait, was Excalibur in Scotland? It's complicated. I mean, if you want to go, like, Excalibur versus Calibog, or the Sword and the Stone, and all that, and yada yada yada. It's more likely to be to have been in France, really. <laughs> Whatever it is, I see a sword that magical. I'm going to assume it's Excalibur. Good, good option. Good choice. Or, well, you know, unless it's, grass unless it's, cutter. Yeah. Or, you know, the Masamune or the Ultima weapon. William, oh, this is like the founding members, I guess. Hmm. Solomon Pre, William Allerton, Susanna Allerton, Frederick Beaumont. What? What? Hold on, Beaumont was there for the founding of the Illuminati in the New World? Could have been a different... It wasn't a different Beaumont. It wasn't a different Beaumont. Wait, Frederick... Ho holy shit! I know, right? Frederick? He doesn't look like a Frederick. Doesn't... I mean, Beaumont is a founding member of the Illuminati in the New World. Oh, that's big. Wait, was he the third? I mean, I think it's alphabetical order. No, no, I mean... In the... In the letter we found. Oh, the yeah. Confession. Yeah, He's in the third? Shit, I mean... I mean, he's, he's third on the list, maybe. I... It's alphabetical. I know, I know... I mean, probably, probably he's in. He's involved in enough shit. I would not be surprised. Holy shit! How deep does this go? I mean, it's the Illuminati. How... Keep digging. You may never find the bottom. Okay, there we go. To the men of the Order, an announcement concerning the Tavern of the All-Seeing Eye. Following the events of last Sabbath, wherein the summoning of a daemon caused a great uproar, and said daemon o'erthrow the warding shackles placed upon it, and did escape from the cellar to be witnessed by fearful townsfolk, not of the Order. All are reminded that it remains in the first place an ale house and court of judging, and only in the second and most secret case for consultation with the dark aspects. Nota bene, until such time as a review of the magical protections has been undertaken, no man may undertake again such work. That was how they talked back then. Okay, so, um... Wait... The Overlook was a meeting place. And there was a portal to... And there was already, like, a nascent rip to hell there. Was this the Overlook? Could... I mean... Fuck, I don't see any, I don't see any other rift to hells around here. Oh, Note Bene, that's, that's what that stands for? Yeah, I was trying yeah. to figure out, the whole time you were talking, I was trying to figure out what that stood for. Yeah, I know, I, I had a, I had a professor who was like really into Latin. And one more thing. Okay, yeah? okay, like take away the old timey stuff, okay? Uh huh. Uh, just think about the way it's written. And you know what? Sprinkle in a few memes. <laughs> Following the events of last Sunday, wherein we accidentally a demon. Exactly. Okay, take that. Yeah. 
and think about it. Does it sound familiar? Oh my god, it's it's a fucking announcer. Or maybe just all announcements sound that way, but like it it's basically just, you know, a memo from HR. Is that thing in glitch? I always assumed that thing was a glitchy AI. Is it some kind of immortal now? I kind of think that, like, all middle management throughout history sounds the same. I mean, you could, you, you, you could pull back, the, you know, you could pull these back thousands of years and they'd sound the same. Maybe. It's just... Like, actually, it's, it's funny. You ever hear of, uh, Ian Nasser? No, that... Yeah. Is a Babylonian... I don't know, some potter or something? Oh, no, 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 I remember this one. Yeah. I saw it on Tumblr. Yeah, where you had, like, all those, you know, Copper ancient... merchant, copper merchant. Copper merchant, yeah. And you had, like, yeah. all those complaint letters stored in his house. Yeah. And, like, some of the oldest written records. And, you know, it's like... Complaint letters back then sound like complaint letters today. The Fire of 1712, the second report to the Council. In light of the new evidence procured, this investigative committee feels obliged to... to... What? That... I, I don't even think that's a word. X-X-A-X-C-E? X... -A -X -C -E? X -A Mm. Uh, ex cans. Ex. Yeah, that's a that's a weird. To something certain of its initial conclusions, it was the recommendation of the committee's first report to. to hang. Hang. Oh, that's an N. Obliged to nuance certain of its initial conclusions. Okay, yeah. We linguisted it. It was a recommendation of the committee's first report to hang Templars in public until they are dead and organize an expedition to burn London to the ground. The committee continues to stand firmly behind this recommendation, as it would, one, provide a general sense of good feeling in Kingsmith, and serve as recourse for all past and future grievances inflicted by the Templars. However, in light of one-legged O'Leary's testimony, it must be said that the Templars may not have been directly responsible for the fire and subsequent loss of Illuminati lives and documents. Oh, one-legged O'Leary. Such a character he is. There wasn't any big fire in London in 1712, was there? I do not believe so. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if Beaumont's been here. I mean, maybe they tripped. They do seem like they would, you know, kind of fall apart that they did, but... It's kind ooh, of like... What happened? This one just collapsed into itself? Oh, God. Whoa. I can't even tell what parts are which. It's like it just got hit by a big, by a big like cartoon anvil. I didn't do it. Devor found the Blue Ridge mine and built the Devor. Mm -hmm. in 1876. Found guilty mansion. of murdering mansion in 1876. Found guilty of murdering his wife. Joanna. Jo Joanne, I was going to say Joshua. <laughs> Progressive. Uh. <laughs> In October 1881, sentenced to death by Hagig. Uh, associated? Associated with individual named Beaumont's numerous ref Re references. Okay, you read this. 
<laughs> to this person in diary. Connected to other mentions of Beaumont in Solomon Island history, diary also references important papers regarding Blue Ridge Mine, located in mansion, but papers appear to have been hidden. Our agents are unable to retrieve. Devore Mansion has recently been sold to E. Franklin. Edmund Franklin. How do you know it's Edmund? I don't know. Is that the same way, like, I don't know how I made that failsafe? Or I don't know where the information in that failsafe came from? I think it's more the latter. Yeah, I think we're definitely dealing with two different kinds of things that we shouldn't know. Uh, I can't really peel this car card off. It looks like I got a little water on here and the whole page will come off if I do that. Can oh, you read God. The best yeah, one? yeah. Let me see. Beaumont, Jul uh, January 19, 1881. Beaumont came by for supper. Fucking though Beaumont. I, though I am beginning to suspect his motivations for visiting so often, he remains pleasant for the Canada. He makes my dear I feel the of a le in a lever. I can still hear the invisible wisp. Or right, terrible Ter or invisible? Oh yeah, that's yeah, it's a T. You're right. The terrible whispers that beckon me into the deep. Beaumont called at the house this morning after breakfast and asked to speak with me in private. He again insisted to be brought down into the mines to speak with the men. He appeared upset and began to shout. This time, I refused him, and he left in a hurry. Joanna berated me for uh, being a poor host. I fear she has developed feelings for... <coughs> I think that the je I don't know. I th I think that it was probably the mind drove him mad. Jealousy. Oh, what is this cover? Oh, shit. We did the Necronomicon thing too early. No, no, this is like... Hmm. Okay, well, looks like I found what I was looking for. Beaumont was involved with the Franklin Mine, and... The, um, and everything else. Yeah, basically everything. So how do I get out of here? I mean, you tried teleporting? You, do you think I tried teleporting? I mean, I don't know what it looks like when you try and fail. Huh. Well... Yep.